retreat to or from or going to the lake today, it's probably going to be a busy travel day across the state. Yeah, local and state agencies, of course, want to make sure everyone gets to their destination safely. So Sarah joining us with some important reminders before you hit the road. Sarah? Well, on holiday weekends like Labor Day, we can always expect many people to be traveling along the I-17, both to and from the high country to escape for the weekend. But the I-17, once a crash happens along it, the road can be closed for hours and people are often parked on the interstate with no other way to get back to the valley. So the department says it has extra troopers on the roads to help prevent crashes. DPS says studies have shown that when people see a trooper on the road, people actually do tend to slow down, put away their phones, and pay attention attention to their driving. DPS looks for speed, DUI, and a common crash culprit, bad lane changes. We will place our troopers in areas where um, studies have shown there's a high uh, crash rate uh, on, you know, Interstate 10, Interstate uh, 40, I-40, and uh, Interstate 17, for examples, where we've responded to a number of serious injury and fatal crashes. Uh, that will be a special focus of the various DPS districts across the state. ADOT even has overhead signs along the I-17 encouraging people to use their turn signal. And DPS says if you see something, say something. If you suspect a driver on the road may be impaired, you can call DPS and the department will send a trooper to investigate. In Phoenix, I'm Sarah Robinson for Arizona's Family.